So I did the Crystal Cave Thomas, and now we have the Money Fix It Friends and Percy and Bruno. And I want to talk about Percy and Bruno's box. It says all boxes of three packs, as you know, the front always has the engine here. There's no one here. No Bruno or Percy. And as we flip to the back of this one, we see Carly and Sandy. Flip to the back of this one, you can see Amazon tried to fix their mistake, and it's just Percy. I find that a little odd. Also, this one went through two airports to get here, so that's why it's a little damaged. Anyways, so we'll start with the Fix-It Friends. I've had them longer, and I really want to open them. So let's do this. That was the worst pa open packaging I've ever done. Okay. My scissors did not at all miss. What are you talking about? Okay. Here are the instructions. Oh, we have the instructions. Okay. Here they are. Let's get them out of their plastic packaging. I'm very excited about this pack. I bet a lot of you at home are also hyped for this. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. Then we'll check these out. Okay, so, Logroo, she's looking pretty good. Here, let's get her crane on. And I believe there's nothing different about her crane. Maybe there is. Same crane. Okay. So, well, it's basically just log root, but with mud. And you can also see how they did change some sticker details, wheels, which is always very nice. It might be a little bit darker yellow, which makes sense because she's all muddy. She also has a scared shock face that's really close to, like, the Muddy Thomas one. And also, I just figured out I had a factory ear one. Anyway, so, Logaroo is just Logaroo. If you want to check out a full Logaroo unboxing video, Grant did one, and he did an excellent job on that. But, as for this, is just Logaroo. Um, has all the problems with normal Logaroo. But it's still awesome. And Sandy, oh, we'll get to Sandy. But as for now, the car is the same besides Muddy Wheels instead of Yellow. Okay, Logaroo. Let's let Muddy Logaroo have the spotlight. But for now, our first motorized Sandy that isn't that crappy Fix-It Friends one. And I have so many things. Um, she just... Now that she's actually out of the packaging, I actually think she's the appropriate size of Sandy. I will give them that. And that we don't have a normal one yet. And if Mattel ever decides to make one, do it. Um... But the, she's very similar to the push along, besides she has a lot less details that track me. And she, push along also has this coupling. I just prefer nor has that coupling. I just prefer this one, so I change, and I will be changing this one. Um, but yeah, honestly, Sandy is looking great. Um, I love the mud on her. And besides, you know, she's missing all those push along details. Push along that has I don't know why. We hate Trackmaster, and we love Pushlong, but we do. So, there you have those two. Let's get into Percy and Bruno. Or, based on this box, Percy. <laughs> Just Percy. They And they didn't, I don't know why, it, there is no character thing there. So, yeah, let's get this. Oh! What the what? There's no artwork on the side? What? There's a Percy artwork, and then normally they have the thing. There's nothing here. That is weird. Okay, so let's open this. This is very weird. Pat, like, what the? Where's all the fun artwork? There's nothing. It's just very, just weird overall. More useless instructions. Let's get these two out. 
I'm supposed to open it from the top. See, normally they have an easy pull from the bottom. Now it's from the top. Uh, uh, oh, come on. They put tape. They put tape there. Oh, Mattel. Mattel. Mattel, Mattel, Mattel. Okay, let me set up this camera. Okay, Mondo. Those two need to get in camera. Okay, first up. First up is Percy. So, this is... As you can see, is literally just all inches go Percy. Besides, he does have this face here. Just like a nice different change of face, which is cool. Here's my first time I actually have one of these types of flatbeds with the top thing. So, happy for that. Okay, let's get into why I bought this. No one, no one would have bought this pack if it didn't have Bruno in it. Just a fact. And Bruno looks pretty good. Um, the face there is looking nice. I have nothing to compare this with. So, honestly, I don't have much to say, but it does look very nice overall. He does have, like, All Engines Go style wheels. The motorized ones. No, like, sticker details. That what they would add with Push Along. But, honestly, my biggest problem with me is that the engines are bigger than him. That's honestly my biggest problem with these guys. Because, like, Bruno in the show is about the same size, and now he isn't. Dude, you know it's bad when Sandy's taller. <laughs> You know they got something wrong when Sandy is taller. But, other than that, there you guys have my unboxing on the Percy and Bruno and the Muddy Fix-It Friends two packs. Do I recommend these? Um, yes, I 100% get this pack. It is worth it. And for the Bruno pack, if you want Bruno early and you want to track Master Bruno... Go for it. If you'd rather just have push, if you can wait for push along, I'd wait for push along because honestly, if you are fine with a push along one, you're not missing much here because this guy is just his eyes aren't even forward. And it's supposed to be like that, I guess, but like, eh. Anyways, what do you guys think? Uh, would you guys get the pack? I know I would totally get this one, but honestly, depends if you want Trackmaster Burner or not. If you could care less, then care less. <sighs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Mattel, add these couplings to Sandy. We don't need that garbage. Bye.